from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 2nd, 2022. The United Nations today overwhelmingly voted against the Russian invasion of Ukraine telling Russia to halt its assault. The UN tweeted the results in the General Assembly, which it wrote has voted in historic Uniting for Peace session. The UNGA adopts the resolution demanding that the Russian Federation immediately cease its use of force against Ukraine and withdraw its military forces. Five countries voted against the resolution, Russia, as well as North Korea, Syria, Belarus, and Eritrea. Israel was among the 141 countries that voted in favor. 35 countries abstained. The vote was welcomed in the plenum with a standing ovation. The result... The result of... Earlier today, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky appealed to the Jewish world to not stay silent about what is happening to his country. The Ukrainian leader, who is Jewish, wrote a Facebook post in Hebrew and recorded a video message, noting the Russian airstrike last night on a TV tower complex in Kiev that was also said to have damaged the Babi Yar Memorial. Zelensky said it's important that millions of Jews around the world won't remain silent to these sites because Nazism was born in silence. Zelensky also shared that he held another phone call today with Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett about, he said, Russian aggression. And the Times of Israel reported that Bennett later held a phone call with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, regarding Babi Yar, there are conflicting reports on what damage there was to the memorial site. Ynet veteran journalist reporter Ron Ben Yishai visited the memorial and said that no missiles had hit it directly. But the Russian airstrike was said to have been close. Ynet reported that the airstrike on the Kiev TV complex was just 400 feet away from the new Babi Yar memorial and 3,000 feet away from the old memorial site. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is in Israel, his first visit to the country since taking over from Angela Merkel in December. Scholz met with Bennett and addressed the Ukraine crisis, saying, I want to repeat my call for all military action to stop immediately. Attacks on civilians, he said, and civilian infrastructure must cease. Bennett added, our obligation as leaders is to do our utmost to stop the bloodshed, to bring what is going on from the battlefield to the negotiating table as quickly as possible. It is still not too late. Earlier today, Scholz, accompanied by Bennett, went to Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, which he called a deeply moving visit. Scholz said the Shoah made the world look into the abyss. The mass murder of the Jews was instigated by Germany. It was planned and carried out by Germans. Consequently, every German government bears permanent responsibility for the security of the state of Israel and the protection of Jewish life. Never will we forget the millions of sufferings and victims. U.S. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell publicly condemned two fellow Republicans for attending an anti-Semitic and white nationalist conference last week saying there's no place in the Republican Party for white supremacists or anti-Semitism. As we reported to you, the Republican Jewish Coalition had also called out Representatives Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar for attending the America First Political Action Conference organized with Nazi sympathizer Nick Fuentes, calling their participation appalling and outrageous. McConnell also condemned Arizona State Senator Wendy Rogers, who also spoke at the conference. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy told Punchbowl News, Last week, I was just in Israel. When I come back, I see two colleagues who went and participated with a group that has a leader that many times gives anti-Semitic views and led a chant for Putin. For me, it was appalling and wrong. And there's no place in our party for any of this. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, March the 2nd at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. 
At 7.30, Orthodoxy and Feminism is discussed at the Jofa Conference. At 8, founding president of Jofa, Blue Greenberg, is honored. At 9, filmmaker Paula Eisel talks about her documentary, 93 Queen. At 10, director Morris Ben Mayor talks about his new film, Queen Shoshana, which looks at the life of Israeli singer Shoshana Damari. At 10.30, Rabbi Emil Hirsch looks at the realities of war on the backdrop of the Ukraine crisis. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, March the 2nd, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.